we, we, we're concerned about with this the way the water flow is in the river right now. It's very, as you know, the river's low, you have very little flow going on. Some of our concerns is a lot of this material may even be trapped in some of the, the low lying areas or flues in the along the river banks. And as we have these rain events, I had I live two miles from the river, State River City, Madison County. I had an inch of rain Friday night, and I'm thinking that the city of Isle Austin had something similar to that. So it just seems to me what I'm seeing here, when we have a, a, a rain event right now of an inch or so, you, you start to see more of this release being done, and you start seeing these higher levels. And my fear is that, and, and our DEP and the Florida Department of Health is committed, and they're going to be testing daily until they get, you know, they, they tested eight days with no levels of high bacteria, and then they, the second time they lifted the advisory on the second event. And now it appears we're fixing to go into another advisory. For those of you that live in Madison, Hamilton, Swanee, you know, prepare this going to be probably issued tonight. And I don't know how many days that advisory will be up until we get those same levels of but then my concern is, and I don't need to drag this out, is what's behind it. You know, uh, this, this may be a long-term event for us, and, and we're having to tell our folks, don't drink it, don't get in it, don't you know, test your wells, and do all this stuff. And uh, I, I just, I'm trying to show you or point out the, the impact that this has on everybody. And, uh, We've got a lot of it. We've invested a lot, of it. and I'll just pull it out there and clap that we would hopefully and we would expect to see about Austin to assist us in recouping some of the costs we've had to incur to uh, monitor our and help our citizens. So just put that as an ask, and I'll pull it from there. About the personal costs, people who have to buy water because they can't drink water in the river. <coughs> Compensation for that at all? Anything in plan? I just, I just think I'm just going right to the school of the we can in Jericho and on the other side of the door to the water. I heard all sorts of things today and last week, earlier today. Could you please explain who the contractor was, what exactly happened, how big the hole in the pipe or whatever, where apparently a lot of it's more sewage. <coughs> came out of wherever it came out of. Explain exactly who was there, what happened, and how that nobody knows it. Because I hear this stuff, and I'm sure a lot of people do, but nobody really, a lot of people don't really know what happened. Thank you. Yeah, we're, we engaged with, this, with a uh, technology contractor late last year, mid last year, to work on a credit system. The name of the company is EMC, and, uh, and they've done a great job of implementing the technology that we've asked them to deploy for us. And uh, I should want to ask that uh, we're the, in, uh, <coughs> in uh, Alabama. Uh, the, uh, and the reason no one knows the mammals, because it's in the woods, it's probably Quarter mile, half mile, half mile, half mile off. Uh, if you uh, if you're from Dot Austin, you probably know where the like, Depot and uh, Target is. So if you go behind those stores, it becomes wooded back in that area. So if you go back in there a few hundred feet, several hundred feet, that's where the manhole is. And the manhole, there's a manhole on one side of the creek. And then there's a manhole on the opposite side of the creek, so that manhole right there, uh, before it goes across the creek, is where the top came off the manhole. You know, the manhole lid, and that's where it came out. All the stuff just came out of one manhole. That's the one manhole. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, sir. Mr. Yeah, I, I just want to make a second. I mean, I've been sitting here listening to this. I've been trying to do some music with you guys, and I've been a part of it. Uh, and I don't mean to take up your time. <coughs> you know, you talk about communication, you're talking about, you know, getting the word out and things going on here. 
that does it include replacing the different parts that have to be replaced yearly or however often they would need to? When you start talking about buying water and uh, it's costing our county right now several thousand just to do the testing for the people because of course we're doing it for free. So for them, because they shouldn't have to pay for it. But when you look at all the different areas that the people have to try to cover to make sure that they're not using contaminated water, a lot of them don't have the money for it. And because of that, truthfully, a lot of them who have lived close to the river for many, many years, they don't bother. And we don't know what they may at times deal with as a result of the water. But they know they don't have the money. They've always been there, or they've been there for a number of years, and they, they say another spill, and they just don't bother. But the bottom line, and I think with most things, the bottom line just comes down to money, and it hits a lot of our residents very hard along that area. I have a question. I, as far as accountability goes, when these spills happen, are you, is, is anybody fined? I mean, it seems like is there anything like you just spilled X amount of raw sewage? Does the EPA find the city? Is there any kind of the EPA, EPB can find the city? But that is not like automatic. It's not, it's not automatic, or is it based on the gallon or whatever? It is. They, they do have that authority to to uh, have they? Uh, have they ever? ever? I think they ever. Do. I've been here, I've been city manager two years. Um, since I've been here two years, I know that we've not had We've been going on for a long time. Before we're 09 had been happening, we're, so. We're it's under, under the similar, um, still from the with, uh, with uh, EPD. Uh, but um, as far as I can remember back, I don't think we've had a fine. They, you know, what they've done in lieu of fines is they added more projects to keep the problem from happening. They, they'll, they'll do that many times. <laughs> Rather than a dollar value, they'll add more projects to the consent order. How will the notification system change? Notifying, notifying us downstream. And the reason I ask, a year or two ago, my, oh yeah, we have a place in North Carolina, my lab's playing around the water, we kayak a lot, Scott, like you do, and enjoying the water, get the truck, I'll have a text from a local official, stay out of the river. The spill had happened four or five days prior. We just found out that day. And I've been in the river playing with my lab and having a good time on the North Carolina River. How will the notification system change to guarantee that everyone, even those who don't have email and internet access along the river, know about these bills? Because that, to me, is criminal, criminal neglect because you're endangering their lives. I mean, because you're in that water, animals are in that water, there farm animals are in that water, and no one knows. I, I don't think I have an answer to that. You have to anybody on that email list. You can get it by phone. You can get it by um, notification. You get more specific with it as well. Um, but it's anywhere near a waterway, obviously, we don't want an egg on anybody's face. We had um, one person in the campground get a reverse 911 call, and we have quite a few people in the campground have no internet. <coughs> so we're trying to take care of ourselves, and we're trying not to be dependent upon any government organization, because we do, you know, with the exception of a few people, um, you know, a lot of the people in Hamilton County, it's a poor county. So the, the folks that can help, I think, are helping. <coughs> they do a job of it, but there has to be several ways of getting their advice. Mr. Parker, is anybody here from Madison County? Uh, do y'all live within how far of the river? Three miles. Did y'all get our code red announcements on your telephone? Yes. Okay. So we have a code red system in Madison County in our emergency management can uh, pinpoint target areas in the county, put out a, a blast phone call, uh, automated message that, that gives those type of warnings. Well, I'm glad to see that in our county, that, I think that system worked pretty good. And uh, so I don't know if Hamilton or Swanee has code red or similar type of announcement notification system. Y'all are yeah. relying a lot on the systems to tell you communications. I'm assuming that their battery or generator backup in the event of a catastrophic electrical outage, they all are on battery or generator backup. Yeah. Yeah. That would be to purchase more and more generators for backup to that. My other question is, and I don't know if you can do it in this particular area, but have you all looked at uh, high injection uh, well, well pumps 
for overflow of the sewage. They do use them in Collier County, in South Florida. They pump 35,000 feet down in, into the aquifer, but scientists have said by the time it comes out in the ocean, it's purified. Yeah, now that's a uh, pretty uh, not wild allowed statement. Us to do it. Yeah, we only allow it to be surface discharge. I know down there, like in Gainesville, Florida, they have a deep well injection. They actually, instead of surface water injection, they dug a well 3,500 feet and they're pumping it in the ground 3,500 feet. Uh, you know, some pros, some cons, some folks are pro to that. Some folks don't think they uh, that should be happening either. So, you know, still some science needs to be done up in this area to make sure it's all right. soil condition. Yeah, well, they use a bubble okay. system in South Florida. Yep. They inject it into the uh, brackish water They're system. going into the lower, lower Florida. I don't know yeah, if you can do that more up. Yeah, I don't know. Sure. You get up higher in the sugar, it would be hard to get those. Well, whatever you can do to communicate with us, get us some information, and support us, uh, and me as a citizen, I greatly appreciate your help. I have a question about those three alerts in Florida. The first one was put out on the 10th when all anybody knew was there was spill. Okay, better safe than sorry. The second one was put out when, as I understand it correctly, Valdosta found an elevated bacterial level at US 84 which I believe we heard earlier is right next to the state line. Uh, do you want to also know how many river miles from US 84 to the state line? Uh, 27, or about three days. And is anybody measuring at the intermediate boat ramps to see how the sewage is moving down the river? Valdosta, for example, is Valdosta doing that? No. We have uh, an answer from Tom Murdy of Swanee River Water Management District. We have done that, yeah. As you know. <coughs> Did you do it at Knight's Ferry in Nankin? We haven't done it consistently, but we have done it when a, when a spill, you know, when a, when a location popped up, at, you know, either at 84 or at 31, and we looked upstream and downstream in conjunction with DOH and DEP. On specific days. Yeah, on specific days. We did a site. We did a bracket. Okay, and with the nice here in Nanky, and you said for and state line, but Valdosta has not. Valdosta no, basically flushed its sewage down the river. No, no sir. I'm going to have to interrupt you there. And I can just, just like the gentleman here said, when we got that hot spot at Mike's Creek, we went down there. And we took our crew down there. They took samples. They did the lab work. We took it to Lab and Thomas over to the other folks are going to say, oh, they're just making the numbers up. The numbers that you were posted on your Facebook were much higher than the independent lab and our own folks said. So I really can't let you stand there and not say we hadn't been out there and do it. And you ever returned that data in response to the open records request I fired a week ago? I will have to talk to the city clerk about that. You can file it with me, sir. I asked you in your office earlier. And I gave you all the data. You asked me for the data every 